I'm actually so nervous right now. Three, two, one. Oh, me. <laughs> Welcome back to Insert Controller here, the channel that's all about engineering new ways to play video games. My name is Eric Heckman, and in the video today, I have my greatest project to date. Because I wired a taser to a GameCube controller to play the character Pichu in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And if you like today's project, please like the video and subscribe for more controller mods just like this. It really helps me grow the channel and allows me to deliver you guys more unique projects. Now you may be asking yourself, how did I come up with such a sinister project? Well, in Super Smash Bros, the character Pichu has a unique design mechanic in which certain moves cause self-damage. And being that Pichu is an electric-type Pokemon, I thought it was only fitting to achieve this self-damage through the use of a taser. And for the design, I found this perfectly themed Pikachu GameCube controller. Inside, I've wired a microcontroller that reads the button and joystick inputs. So if a self-damaging move is detected, a signal is sent to the relay switch and activates the taser. Now, the original plan was simple. I was just going to shock myself anytime a self-damaging move was used. But there's a problem, though. Pichu has aerial attacks that cause self-damage, but the controller is only reading button inputs. It does not know Pichu's relative position to the stage and could cause misfires if the controller thought Pichu is in the air when he's actually on the ground. So to prevent misfires, and you know what, honestly make the controller somewhat usable, I'm only going to include Pichu's special moves. For Thunder Jolt, Pichu is damaged every time the button is pressed. Pichu. Skull Bash is still pretty simple. Pichu is only damaged when the button is released. Pichu. Agility is a bit more complicated. Pichu will take damage upon initial use. But he'll take additional damage if a second dash is used. Finally, we have Thunder, which is by far the most complicated move. Pichu only takes damage if hit by the lightning. So that means if I jump off and don't get hit, I won't take any damage. All right, that's enough talk. Let's take this controller online. Oh God. <laughs> It tastes in the menu too. Okay. We got this. Donkey Kong, we got this all day. All right. Right off the bat, we're going for it. Oh! Oh, thank God. Yeah, God. Oh. Oh. I am so nervous, I like barely even pay attention. Yeah, buddy. Let's do this. We got this all day. I'm sorry, Alex, but if you lose this, you are the worst Smash player in the world. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, that's right. Oh, guys, we did it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We won a game with a taser controller. Oh my God. Alex, I'm sorry, but that, oh. <sighs> my heart is racing. Hopefully it's not because I'm dying from the taser, but oh my God. <laughs> Is this a viable controller? I don't know. I won a game. Solo battle. You can see how bad my GSP is. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh, I need I need water. That was the most intense game of, of Smash Bros. I've ever played. <laughs> did it, guys. We did it. Look, I know it's crazy to play another game, but I just have to get a kill with Thunder if I want to be satisfied with this project. Three, two. Go in again. Oh. Oh. Here we 
go. Kidding me again? Another win. Oh. All right, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Remember to like the video and leave me a comment if there's any controller ideas you'd like to see. If you're interested in getting started with your own controller projects, check out our community Discord link below. Thanks for watching, and an extra thank you for my Patreon supporters for helping make these controller projects possible.